Hey guys, welcome back. So I just finished shooting some beauty product photography in my home studio and thought that might be interesting for you to see how I go around it, what light I'm using, what props I'm using and what camera settings I'm using to achieve these kind of looks. So if you're interested, stay here with me and I'll show you everything. So what do we actually have here? A mess, of course, and <laughs> these beautiful lip glosses and all I'm using is just the white backdrop I bought in the art shop it's a free I think size cost like two pound or something so you can get lots of different colors I always have all different colors for my beauty photography but this time I needed to use a white one and a pink one and I'll tell you why in a second also I have my light here it's a newer S300N pointing to the white wall and since my walls are not white they are magnolia or something in England that's very popular I just put white backdrop there so I can bounce the light off the wall onto the product and of course we've got all the products here and um, shoes because we need to always clean everything I'll show you and dance a little bit of water because I did some pictures with the water so let's have a look how this looks like so as I told you before I'm using only one light and I'm using it three different ways and that is bounce the light off the white wall onto the product second way is with using a diffuser is the middle part of a reflector actually I will link everything in the description box below so you can have a look and maybe buy it for yourself if you want and the third way I'm using one light is just pointing the light I need two hands for this so I can't do it now but pointing the light directly from the angle that's gonna give you some harsh shadows, a hard light. Uh, this bouncing off the wall is gonna give you some medium soft shadows and using the diffuser is gonna make no shadows at all. All the pictures I was taking on my Canon 7D Mark II that I'm recording right now. So there is not much to say about that. <laughs> because you can really use whatever camera you have. I was using my 50mm 1.4 lens and uh, always shooting uh, at beauty photography or product photography for um, aperture around 10 to 15, that depending on my light and the mood I'm going for, but I always go really high with the aperture, so the lens doesn't really matter as well. It doesn't need to be fast lens, you don't need 1.4, 1.2 lens to shoot some nice beauty photography because you want everything to be sharp and crispy so you're shooting on high aperture anyway. Important thing to know about product photography is that uh, the picture is going to be used to sell the product so we want to make sure that the color is just as it should be and as it really is in real life. We don't want to mess around in a post-production and we need to keep an eye on color temperature settings in our camera and what kind of backdrop we are using um, for the pictures. The best is white, that's gonna represent the colors the, the most natural way, but for this particular product, I was using a lot of pink backdrop, just because the Shen Cosmetics has this pink um, vibe and pink looks going on, so Joyce, the owner of the Shen Cosmetics, asked me to shoot it on a pink backdrop, so that's why I was using pink one. But for any other product photography, it's good to be black or a white, kind of the, the neutral colors, especially if you're selling or if you're shooting a beauty product that has a lot of lipsticks and the colors are really, really important. If you're interested uh, why I have these things here for, it's just because when you're shooting a swatch of the color, uh, I always do it on plastic or glass uh, this one in particular is from picture frame from IKEA really just the just the middle part you can really use whatever you want make sure it's always clean and there are no other marks on it sometimes you can you know shoot the swatch just like this but if you want to make it a little bit more interesting um, you go and put something that will lift this thing tiny little bit so it's really hard to do just with one hand so excuse me but now we've got this little shadow going on there underneath and how high it is what the you know the thing what you got underneath it how far away the shadow is going to be and something looks better if it's on the flat something looks better with the little shadow 
And one last thing is, if you want to make it even more interesting, you can use a water because I think everything looks better with water. So I'll just flip this around to get the pink ones here. I also using this plastic sheet and just make it clean because that's gonna save you a lot of time in a post-production. You don't have to get rid of all the dirtiness on it. Okay, and now we take our product and a little bit of water. You can spray it on. I'll show you. Just like this. Or there is another thing you can do. Taking the product with the water on, putting it on the side, drying the water from your backdrop because sometimes it just looks better when the water is only on the product and not on anything else. So that's it guys for today's uh, quick behind the scene of how I shoot product photography at home with just one light. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you find it helpful somehow. Uh, if you did, please give it a like and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. And also leave me some comments in the comment section below if you have any questions or suggestions for my next videos. Uh, so yeah, that's it. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.